Welcome along then to the Belgian Grand Prix, the race that gave us the maiden victory for the Jordan team back in 1998. And in the same team, it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Yuki Tsunoda lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Mick Schumacher, Alex Albon and Sainz, Ocon, Drogovic, Perez and Kevin Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, Yuri Vips, Theo Porcher and Stroll, Tickton, Schwartzman, Liam Lawson and Jehan Deruvela, Joe, Leclerc, Latifi and Bailey. It's almost Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Let's have a chat about McLaren. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
Bodywork's taken a few scrapes. Try not to make it any worse, please. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. Overtake button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. Okay, DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Pods have taken damage, you might start to pick up a little bit extra drag. Move was illegal, I'm afraid, mate. Return the position, give it back. damaged.
a bit borderline there. We're lucky to have gotten away with it. OK, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Lost the position, try to keep focus. The bodies incurred critical damage at this point. of the all-time classic circuits, but they persevered to take the win here today. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Let's have a quick look at how the driver standings have changed. The gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to Bailey. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. Let's move on to the constructors. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. 